Grow Proud is a group that was formed uh, to say how welcoming uh, the Republican Party is to gay Americans. <laughs> How's that working out for them? Well, it's not working out very well at all. I'm going to tell you about how one of the founders has packed it up and gone home. Uh, but first, I want to show you a clip of me arguing with one of their leaders. Uh, now, this is Chris Barron when I was on MSNBC, and we got into a heated exchange. And uh, and I, what I love about this is that at the end of this segment, uh, conservatives thought <laughs> he got me. Okay, so let's watch. Chris, get real. Are you We're telling me with a straight face? Hold on. Are you telling me with a straight face that the Republican Party has been welcoming the gays all this time? No, the Republican Party hasn't always been welcoming the gays. What I'm telling and you is right it now welcoming is the now? conservative movement. The conservative movement is absolutely welcoming to gay people. I can tell you right now, I have an <laughs> easier time planet? being openly gay with the conservatives than I do being a conservative with other gay people. That's the truth. That's the absolute truth. You might not like it, but it doesn't change reality. The name of the group is Go Proud. It has GOP in it. It's not a mistake. They did that on purpose, obviously, right? Like, GOP and proud of it! Right? Founder just left. Says he's not a Republican anymore. Oops. Well, you see how they got me. <laughs> and I remember, you know what? Uh, even Ann Coulter, after that clip, called me retarded, right? Like, oh, oh yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Saying that they're. Republicans are not welcoming of the gay party. I guess she's going to call uh, Jimmy LaSalvia, who started a group retarded as well. So here's what he had to say today. Quote, today I join the ranks of the unaffiliated voters. I am every bit as conservative as I've always been, but I just can't bring myself to carry the Republican label any longer. He went on to say, you see, I just don't agree with the big government conservatives who run the party now. Okay, so what happened? What happened? I thought, I thought the Republican Party was loved gay people. Except for the fact that it turns out they hate gay people. And now the one guy or the, you know, the founder of the one group that was trying to say, no, 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 Republicans are okay with gay people, said, no mas, I can't take it anymore. Why? He said it was because of their, quote, tolerance of bigotry. How clear is that? He then went on to say the current leadership lacks the courage to stand up to it, and I'm not sure they ever will. And now that he's coming out of the Republican closet, uh, does he feel better? <laughs> you bet you. He says, I feel a huge sense of freedom. I'm an independent conservative. That sounds much better than gay Republican. So that leaves maybe Chris Barron. <laughs> and I don't know if there's any other gay Republicans even left in the country. Of course, in this case, Jimmy LaSalvi, after being wrong for years and years and years, realized Republicans aren't interested in you. They don't like you. In fact, they run their campaigns against you. They fear monger saying you are the other and that you should be despised and not have the same rights as other Americans. Man, he's a little slow. It took him a while to get there, but he's finally gotten to the right answer. So I wonder what Chris Barron thinks today. Is he still like, oh yeah, no, no. Republican Party's got this on lockdown. They love gay folks. Who in their right mind could possibly think that? Apparently not even the founder of GoPro.